Hello, Miami Manny here. Um, I'm redoing um, a tutorial, not really a tutorial, but um, a response to a friend of mine who's taking a Java class with me. Um, he's new to Java like I am, and uh, we're, he's more unfamiliar, well, I don't know. He was unfamiliar of how to compile code and run it through command line uh, instead of using an IDE where the IDE does everything for you. So, um, I did a little YouTube video and the quality came out real crappy because uh, I recorded full screen on nice little, it, the original was nice quality and then uh, through Windows Movie Maker I tried to zoom in into certain areas to give a good picture but that didn't work out and now I got this thing that uh, pans wherever I go so it's nice and um, yeah, let's get started I suppose uh, let's start writing the source code Alright, so uh, I'm going to be using uh, Notepad++. Uh, you can use an IDE such as uh, Eclipse um, or uh, JCreators one, uh, but I'm going to use Notepad because uh, it's a simple little uh, text, editing, text editing utility. You can write your source code in Notepad, if, in normal Notepad if you want. So, um, I'm, I'm not going to really explain the commands much. Uh, this I did this video uh, originally just to answer my friend's question yeah, and uh, he was already familiar with the source code. I'll put a, another video on how to write source code uh, in the description box if you want. So here we go. So we start our Java uh, program by declaring our class, so public um, class and whatever we put here has to be the file name of, the, of uh, this class of the source code so I mean I could put blah 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 Manny here if I want but I'm just gonna put main class it's not a special word it's an arbitrary word that I'm choosing alright now we can start get started on our main function if you're coming from C++ this should look very familiar to you um, and in Java we call it our main method so void main and so this should at least look familiar to you uh, sometimes it's in main but uh, in Java we're making it a void and I think that you can't even make it an integer if you try so strings arguments and uh, now we can open and close braces here alright so that's the end of main let me set this for uh, Java this way we can get our words colored the right way and uh, let's see what am I going to put? Uh, let's uh, do our hello world. And uh, if you come from uh, what you call it, C plus plus, you'd have it do something like this, right? A uh, hello world. The syntax is very similar. Here we have system dot out um, dot uh, print line. Hello world, uh, Miami Manny. All right, excellent. So now we can uh, save this onto our desktop and uh, have it. Um, let's see. And the file name must be the same as this file name here. So it's main class dot Java. All right, excellent, excellent. All right, I've already spent three minutes on this, so let's uh, move it right along. Uh, let's open up uh, command prompt. So here uh, it opens up in my default directory and uh, first thing we have to do is set the path. Um, setting the path is uh, quite easy. Uh, what's the path for first of all? Path for um, like the shell has these commands that are default. Uh, dir and cd are the ones I use mostly. Dir stands for directory. So in this uh, file, in this directory, Manny, it has a bunch of files and folders in it and, and when I type dir directory it lists them here uh, if I type cd and I type one of these names uh, desktop for example desk and I don't even have to finish typing I just press tab and it completes it for me I press enter I've gone from the manny directory to the desktop directory so it's a very nice thing to do cd dot dot uh, gets you uh, up one directory so that's basically it but these are, the, the point is these are shell commands and uh, they're built into command prompt you, you, they don't have to it's not an executable somewhere else uh, a program somewhere else um, 
that's not built into the command prompt shell would be explorer and you see it even brings up this GUI proving uh, that it's not a command here so um, how does it do this well it knows where to find this explorer uh, command this explorer program from this path so it's, it's probably in C Windows System 32 or C Windows one of these so to set the path if I t type, try typing Java C which is Java compiler um, it's not going to recognize it so we have to set the we have to put it in the path so it knows uh, to get it so we're going to go to C drive uh, we're going to navigate it so from your computer hard drive program files uh, Java <coughs> JDK bin and this is where your Java executable is and your Java C executable is so let's copy that let's uh, type into command prompt path space and what we just copied alright now what's in the path if we type path um, not this all this junk up here just uh, Java the Java program and if you see if we type in explore it won't work and this doesn't change your path permanently by the way just for this command prompt session so it gets annoying to some people I'll teach you in a minute how to set this path permanently so um, actually let me teach you right now let's go to computer right click properties um, advanced system settings alright go to environmental variables and now here we have a variable called path we edit this and here in the path it's actually what we had here in the um, in the command prompt when we type path for the first time so what you could go ahead and do is simply uh, put in a semicolon as you can see each path is separated by a semicolon and put the um, path directory for Java uh, the directory I showed you earlier C program files Java JDK bit so that's how you do that so now uh, let's go ahead and compile our code so um, directory we can see uh, our main class, our source code files right there. So let's go ahead and type in Java C, Java compiler, and main class dot Java. I don't have to do this. I can also type star dot Java. What does star dot Java do? Basically, it launches all. It, it it compiles everything with a dot Java at the end of it. So it's very useful if you have multiple uh, source code files in one directory. And only works in that directory. So now that we can press enter. Okay, I have four errors. Wow. Okay. Well, this is a good opportunity to show you how to debug a program, I guess. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, okay, I know there's one right off the bat that I can see. Um, let's see. This semicolon has to go there. Hmm. I wonder what else I'm uh, messed up on. Let's see. Uh, let's try main class. Let's try compiling it again. See what happens. Three errors. Let's see public. Oh, I put class here. What am I thinking? It's static. Public static void main. Okay. So this is public. Uh, other class files can see it. It's static. Um, return type is a void. Uh, so all right, all right, all right. So now we can compile it no I forgot to save it now we can compile it one error uh, strings it's not string it's string I'm sorry so we can compile it and when we see nothing it is officially compiled excellent so now we can run it all you have to do is type Java main class and it runs it hello world Miami many it is a success now I have one minute left, so let me show you one little thing. Let's see, software. And in here I have a little batch file. It's compiler and a launcher. So what these batch files do is they do everything we just did in command prompt. You just have to make sure they're in the same directory as the source code file. So let's delete this uh, compiled code and compile it. I just have to press 1, enter and it runs the same uh, commands that we did in command prompt earlier we have the path and uh, java c star.java so it uh, compiles everything in the directory we launch it and um, use a default path and we have to copy and paste uh, don't, uh, the name I don't want to launch every dot class file only because um, not all class files have 
uh, a main in it, and it would be confusing. So, let's see, main class, and hello world. So, let me end this video because I'm already over.